Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in to Pace Yourself. Today we're going to be talking about the campaign member record and how to see when the status changes and when. So for instance, if you have things running off the status in automation changes, maybe they've clicked a button and said attending, which changes the status to the word attending. We're going to see when did that actually happen. So you can see here in our contact page in our related lists, a campaign history list actually reflects all of the campaigns this contact is a campaign member on. Our first one here, we've got the standard field called member status updated. This field actually does not reflect when the actual status gets updated. It actually more reflects a last modified date type of field. So for instance, here we can see it's 324 and I quickly go and update something on this record. I'm just going to quickly refresh and you can see that has been updated, but I didn't actually touch the status. So what we have to do is we have to create a flow and what the flow is going to do, it will add a date time value to this field here called last status changed. This field is actually a custom field that we've added to the campaign member record. So let's go ahead and create a flow that populates this field when the status is changed. I'm going to create a new flow. And we're going to say it's a record triggered flow because we want it to happen when something happens to the record. So the campaign member record. We're going to hit create. As I've just mentioned, we're going to start with campaign member. And we want to know when a record is updated. Now the condition will be only when the status changes. So we're going to say status as our value field and the operator is changed. So once the status field changes, we're going to say that is true, it has changed, is when they will enter this flow. Now because we're just updating a field on the same record, we're going to have a fast field update as our option. And I'm going to click done. So once we've finished and we're imagining Andy Young's campaign member has entered this flow, what do we want it to do? So I'm going to add an element and the element is update the triggered record. So the record that entered this flow, we're going to update it. Again, use the campaign member record that triggered the flow. No record conditions are required because we've already done that. Now what fields do we want to update? So it's given me a list of custom fields or fields that I can actually amend. The one we need to change is last status change custom field. And what's the value? Now the value is when the flow was triggered because obviously the conditions were met that the status changed. So I can actually look at the flow itself and then the little arrows just like Process Builder link you through the variable options you get when you look at the flow. So current date won't work because we've chosen a date time field. Current date time will work but so will interview start time. So the interview is what a flow is. So as it starts the record into the flow, it's called an interview. So I'm going to leave it as that and click done. So now we have done everything we need to make that field change on our campaign member. I'm going to hit save. Now I would normally debug a flow, but instead this flow actually campaign member doesn't let you debug. So you can see here, I can't actually select a record to enter the flow in debug mode. So for this instance, I'm working obviously in my dev org and doing all my tests before anything hits production. I'm gonna activate that one. So now we can actually run a test in our system, in our dev org. So we're gonna go back to our Andy Young contact. We've got our status here. I'm going to quickly do a test to see if my last status change field updates if I update another field like our previous field was doing. So this field updated, but this one didn't have any value populated, which is great. First test done. Let's test if the status field changes. We get a date time, which you can see already happened in that fast change. So that's how you create a flow to monitor the status on a campaign member. Thank you for tuning in to Pace Yourself. I'm Mia Pacey.